Hello, Free Americans. I'm the Ancient Warrior, and welcome back to Prepping in Free America. Oh, mercy. The flies are about to drive me crazy today. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, then hit the bell icon with all. And please, folks, I don't know if I'm hitting the mark if you don't leave comments. Most of my videos don't have a comment one. And I do want to thank, uh, I think her name was Laura Serendipity for asking me to get back on track. I do appreciate you pointing that out to me. So let's talk about why you need spices. If you've been a member of this of this channel very long, you may remember me telling you a story about a couple who moved from here in the Texas Panhandle up to Montana. They moved up there. They had they had food supplies. They took rice and beans and potatoes and stuff. And they moved up there. By the end of the first winter, the uh, family members got a little concerned because they hadn't been in contact in over a month. They asked the sheriff's department to go do a welfare check. Which, got to reach for my coffee here. And they found the couple had passed away. They had found that the couple had starved to death. The thing that the sheriff's department up there remarked was they had all kinds of food around them. But they they starved to death, folks. Why did they starve? Okay, number one, if, if you've ever cooked beans, you ever cook rice, if you don't have something to add to it, it doesn't have much taste. And it doesn't take long for your body to start rejecting wanting to eat going longer and longer and longer times before you eat. In this couple's situation, they were healthy. They were in extremely good shape. But yet they still starved to death. Why? When the family got looking through the cabin, the man's sister looked, told me when she got back, she said, I looked all over that cabin. They had a nice two bedroom cabin, had solar, had, a, had a nice wind generators. So they had lights, they had water, they had everything. What were they missing? They were missing spices, folks. You know, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, chili powder, you know, paprika, Italians, Italian seasonings. Guys, you got to have this stuff and buy it in quality, quantity and buy good stuff. You know, I find stuff on sale quite a bit. I go by Big Lots and Ollie's and a few other places. I've got a friend up in Oklahoma. He goes to a place called Aldi's. Folks, you got to have 
spices to give this food the taste it needs to to help your body. If not, you're gonna your body's gonna shut down, you're gonna quit eating, and then you're going to die. So please, for every one pound bag of beans you've got, have a bottle of garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, uh, if you can get freeze-dried corn, beans, uh, peas, excuse me, oh, breakfast is trying to murder me today, it keeps grabbing me around. <laughs> Uh, you get freeze-dried stuff, you can throw it into your beans. Give it a taste. Get macaroni and throw it in there. Beans and macaroni. Not one of the best meals in the world. By golly, it'll keep you full. So, with that being said, folks, remember, you're a free American if you're prepping. And it's better to have this stuff, not need it, than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior. Have a blessed day.